Hey guys, my name is Kevin. I'm one of the exercise specialists at the West Primary Care Network and today we are here to talk about strength training um, and how much weight should I lift. So a lot of people get pretty confused about this. There's a lot of um, trainers out there and physios a lot of times they'll recommend that you do 10 repetitions. A lot of times people don't understand why. So I'm going to try to explain to you why that number is, um, is recommended um, in terms of some, uh, some basic uh, guidelines that were given uh, from strength training. So, uh, basically the lighter the weight, so let's just use an example of like a three pound weight. So for me, if I were to lift a three pound weight, I could probably do 50 repetitions or 40 repetitions. I could do a lot of them. So if I can do this number here is repetitions to failure. So how many reps can I do until my muscle gets tired? So if I can do 20 or more, I consider that basically cardio. Cardio is a really light weight that you just do over and over and over again. Like riding a bike, you're pushing about four or five pounds of resistance like a thousand times. So light weight, high repetition is basically cardio. If I use a heavier weight, let's say like eight pounds, and for me, maybe let's say 10 pounds. Um, okay, I can do 19 and uh, 20. Okay, so my muscle fatigued in 20 repetitions. I would be building muscular endurance. So there's some energy makers in your cell, uh, in your muscle cell, that that's really primarily what we're building is, is uh, the ability of the muscle to create energy. Next, if I use a heavier weight, so let's say for me, if I use, let's say 25 pounds, I can do one, two, three, four, and I, uh, 10. Okay, I can only do 10. If your repetition to failure range falls between eight to 12 repetitions, I'm gonna build muscle. So that's actually gonna cause little tears in your muscle. And then over the next one to two days, protein is basically gonna fill those holes and that's what's gonna leave you with a bigger, stronger muscle. Um, so that amount of weight for every different exercise to cause your muscles to fail um, will build you muscle. Finally, we have strength. So strength is very, very heavy. So for me, let's just say if I were to lift 40 pounds and I'm like, oh, one, two, and three, I can hardly get there. Okay, so that is three repetitions. That would build strength. So that's working on primarily a neurological change of my brain to recruit more fibers in my muscle. Most people do not need to go here and should not go here. This is for advanced weight training and advanced weight lifters. The reason is there's a very high chance of injury. The heavier weight you go, um, the higher the chance of injury. The important point with all of these and reps to failure is that Reps to failure means how many repetitions can you do with perfect form, perfect technique, no, uh, or a only slight increase in pain. So I always say I want your last repetition to look exactly like your first. Once it starts to not like look like your first anymore, that's when you're done. So you'll see maybe an example would be, I start needing to help myself and I go like this and I'll, you'll see me move my body. My last repetition does not look like my first. In all my programs, I would say that doesn't count. I only count how many have perfect technique, perfect form, and no increase in pain, all right? So that explains this principle. Lighter the weight, uh, we have cardio. Uh, Light-ish weight, we'll be building muscle endurance, building muscle size, and then building strength. Most people do not need to go here, and it's too, too risky to go there. Our general recommendations is we suggest 10 to 20 repetitions to failure. So usually we're just gonna say for an exercise, shoot for somewhere between 10 to 20. You'll be alternating between building muscle and building muscular endurance, which we're on, on board with both of those, and those will both be good for you. But now you understand basically the heavier the weight, the less reps you can do, and we get different benefits from each repetition range. Okay, so that's been a general guideline on how much weight you should use when you are lifting weights. Um, my name is Kevin. Thanks for watching and have a great day.